Shalom, 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 Israel. I want to start off and give all honors and infinite praises to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakak Wadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who have taught us his truth and who rule well. Peace and safety and salutations out there to you sincere and you hopeful elect scattered abroad across the four winds of this earth. All right, I'm your fellow servant Malachi. All right, coming in with with another lesson today. <clears throat> All right, and um, basically this is um, gonna be dealing with um, distractions. Okay, okay, and uh, this is not the time to be distracted by the things of this world. All right, the cares of this world, the cares of life, the things that is in it. Okay, because the scripture says, all right, we can go ahead and start off with that. And um, is that first John 2? And um, yeah, it's first John chapter 2, verse 15. It says, love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If any man love the world, the love of the father is not in him. OK, so if you love this world, OK, you're easily distracted by the things of this world. OK, you're worrying about bills. You're worrying about probably your, your, your baby mama drama that you got going on or uh, uh, you're worrying about probably gas prices. You're probably worrying about uh, probably got financial problems. OK, your, your kids probably acting up. All right. All right, you, you, your family, all right, they uh, they basically disowned you. All right, you're worrying about the things of this world, okay? The love, the, the, the father, all right, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai said, love not the world, all right? Neither the things that are in the world. So all the things that come of this world is all the things that you have accumulated here uh, 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 within this world, all right? Especially like me here in Babylon the Great. All these things I may have accumulated Okay, but these things are as dung to me. I could care less about it. Okay, yeah, I love my family. I love my mom. I love my dad, you know, my sisters in them, but they are of the world. Okay, I got an uncle right now. He's in the hospital and, you know, he, hey, man, hey, it's just judgment of the Lord. All right, so he's going through different surgeries, getting his leg amputated. All right, he got some type of, uh, I guess, some type of disease that's basically eating up his whole flesh. All right. But my family wants me to feel sorrowful for it. But all this is the judgment of the Lord. OK, this is the things of the world. My family, they are in the world. OK, and these are things that have accumulated. All right. To, uh, basically, you know, when you look at my uncle. All right. Those are things over time that have accumulated. And now these things is biting them in the ass. OK. Not only that, you know, you have other different things, all right, when it goes, you know, just basically being in, in just generalizing things, things that are in the world, man, leave that shit, man. Fuck this shit, man. This place is on its way out, man. This kingdom, this, this wicked kingdom is on its way out. And the Lord is showing us through the prophecies. So this is not a time to be distracted by all these uh, uh, things that is going on in the world. Okay, look towards the heavens. It says, if any man love the world, the love of the father is not in him. So you don't love the father. All right. Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. All right. And his son. All right. If you love these things of the world, if you love your family, if you love your kids more than let's get that. If you love your kids more than Yahweh Shai, more than hey, if, you, if you love all these things in the world. All right. You don't ultimately love the father. OK, um, where is that? Matthew, I think it's Matthew 10. Matthew 10. Um, OK, yeah, Matthew 10. And the scripture says right here that the Lord is getting ready to bring what? Uh, he's getting ready to bring a sword. Let's get that. It's the book of Matthew 10 and verse 34. And we'll read down. It says, think not that I am come to send peace on earth. Why? Because the Lord's getting ready to destroy this place. All right. So if you love the world, if you love the different things of this world. 
all right, and you are easily distracted by the things in the world, all right, you're going to be cut right along with the world. Okay? The Lord says he come not to send peace on the earth. So if you love this world, you're not going to, uh, 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 uh you're going to, ultimately, you're going to find nothing but just evil coming your way. All right? Because the scriptures talk about how famine, pestilence, all right, seditions among men, people fighting with swords in their hands, the love of many shall wax cold. You got the ICBM missiles, all right, you got the rumors of war, all these different things. The Lord is not uh, 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 bringing happiness upon the earth. So if you love these things of the earth, you're going to fall right along with it here in this world. It says, I came not to send peace, but a sword. Okay, so the Lord is getting ready to bring a division. Okay, he's not going to bring peace. He's getting ready to bring all hell upon the earth. For I am come to set a man at variance against his father and the daughter against her mother and the daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law. And a man's foe shall be they of his own household. So going to your, your probably your wife, all right, your kids, your uncles, your aunties, all eight. Hey, this is why you're not supposed to love the things of this world and not to be distracted by these things of the world. And you should ultimately know that it is Satan. Okay? So overlook these things and not love the things of this world and you focus on on this truth you focus on the prophecies you focus on the things that are getting ready to happen you focus on the things that are happening right now all right the scripture says how these prophecies are, are speaking louder all right especially in these last days just roughly paraphrasing as you read that in the book of habakkuk, habakkuk chapter 2 okay it says he that loveth father or mother more than me is not worthy of me and he that loveth son or daughter more than me is not worthy of me. So if you love your family, if you love your, your son, your daughter, okay, your, 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 your father, your mother more than Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh you are not worthy of Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh I have a daughter, all right, but I love Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh more than her. All right. If I have, if it, if it has, if it comes to it, I leave her here in this world. Okay. I love Yahweh Bashem Yahweh and that's the type of spirit you're supposed to be in, serving Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Okay. It says, and he that taketh not his cross and followeth after me is not worthy of me. Okay. That's going to the tribulations, the uh, afflictions, the the different things that's getting ready to come your way, and the things that are happening right now. Taking up your cross and following after Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Okay? If you can't do that, you're not worthy to follow after Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. It says, He that findeth his life shall lose it, and he that loseth, loseth his life for my sake shall find it. Okay? And this is where you see the hopeful elect trying to find, all right, their life with Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. So they forsake this world. They don't love this world. They don't care about all the different distractions of this world. They, they let it all go. All right. To follow, uh, to, to take up their cross and follow after Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. And it says, he that receiveth you receiveth me and he that receiveth me receiveth him that sent me. Okay. Um, I want to bring that word out too. Uh, going into the distractions. Okay. Yeah. Distraction. Let's get that word. It says distraction. It's a noun. Mid 15th century. It says the drawing away of the mind from one point or course to another or others. See, this is a lot of people in the world. They are distracted by the things of what Esau Edom puts out. Okay, they're distracted by their families. They're distracted by the money. They're distracted by the things of this world. That's why the scripture says, love not this world, neither the things that are in the world. All right, because it's nothing but ultimately all distractions. All distractions to draw you away from Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Okay, and his will. Um, it says a pulling apart. That's that's what a distraction does. A pulling apart away from the Heavenly Father and His Son. It says a separating. 
Um, it says to draw in different directions. And this is what the world does. That's the course of this world. It draws you into different directions and to go into different uh, 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 avenues to where you so drowned into the different things of this world. You drown yourself in sorrows. Like the scripture says, for the love of money uh, uh, is the root of all evil. All right. And, and many of them that have pierced themselves. All right. With many sorrows. Being distracted. Many people out here, especially our people, Jake, all right, distracted by uh, uh, the bag, trying to get their uh, credit fixed to get themselves rich in a society uh, like the brother Osh had mentioned in his video. All right. This is a, this this place is falling. You're trying to make you're trying to get rich in a, in, a, in, a, in a state of where this place is about to fall. You ain't in the right mindset. You ain't in the right spirit. All right. You have been drawn away. All right. Of your mind of one point. OK, you've been distracted. OK, it says sense of drawing of the mind in different directions a mental confusion. Be uh, lot. be uh, wild bewilderment. Yeah, that's the word. It says mental confusion or bewilderment. So ultimately confusion. And this is the place of uh, uh, confusion. Babylon the Great. All right. Especially in this whole man in this in this world it's nothing but just straight, utter confusion. You got men want to be with men. Women want to be with women. All right. You got women want to uh, change the course with well, a natural course. OK, they want to uh, abort babies. All right. They want to be uh, uh, harlots out here in the streets and do whatever the hell they want to do. So this is the place of uh, uh, mental confusion. All right. And it's all distractions to draw you away from the uh, uh, the Heavenly Father, Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. It says, meaning violent mental disturbance, excitement simulating madness. These people out here crazy, man. It says, meaning a thing or fact that causes mental diversion or bewilderment. Okay, and this is the people, man, distracted. All right, because they love the things of this world. All right. The scripture says love, not the let's just get let's get it again. All right. Because it's our people, man. And this is not the type of spirit you're supposed to be in, in these times. All right. That we are in. OK, let's get it again and we can close out on it. It's the book of first John two, verse 15. Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If any man love the world. The love of the father is not in him. Let's read the next word. It says verse 16 for all that is kind. Verse 16 and 17. It says for all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh and the lust of the eyes and the pride of life is not of the father, but is of the world. OK, and that's what ultimately going into that into those distractions. All right. Those distractions uh, are going into uh, you being lustful of the flesh. Lust. So like yeah, the lustful <clears throat> of the eyes. All right. The pride of life. All these things are, are, are accumulated with the world and it is not of the father. It says in the world passeth away and we are in that current state right now. The world, this age. This time that we end, this world is passing away right before our eyes. We can see this place crumbling. So why would you be in love? All right. With this world, with the things that are in this world, it says, and the lust thereof. But he that doeth the will of the most high abideth forever. And that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to have eternal life. We're trying to be uh, 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 to get salvation. OK, from the coming destruction. All right. We're trying to live forever. OK. This is why you see us doing the will of the Heavenly Father, okay, and listening and believing on his word, all right? And this is the thing that takes faith, okay? Believing on the word, believing on Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, and you will never fail. So always believe on Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, all right, and know to not love the things of this world, all right? So, hey, basically that concludes the lesson. I want to give all honors and infinite praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who have taught us his truth and who rule well. Peace and safety and salutations out there to you sincere. 
and you hopeful elect scattered abroad across the four winds of this earth. I'm your fellow servant Malachiah. Shalom.